Hello and welcome to season two of the 2002 GPRO F1 Championship. We may have ended at Silverstone, but we start with Silverstone this season. And not much has changed, really. Did a few driver changes, we'll discuss that during the race. And there is a bit of team change. Williams been put into liquidation and Jordan are on the grid again. And we have a Arrows front row with Frenton in pole, Schumacher in second. The champions are further back and they are away. Frenton leads from the first corner. Ralph Schum and Frenton goes wide. Round cops. He drops down to fourth place. Ralph Schumacher keeps hold of the lead from his brother, Michael Schumacher. And there is Ralph Schumacher go down the hangar straight. In the lead in, his, in the arrows. Michael Schumacher is second place in the Ferrari. With Fernando Alonso, third place. Staying in the Toyota. And there is Frenton, fourth place in the arrows. Fifth is Mika Sato in the other Toyota. With the reigning world champion, reigning double world champion, Pedro de la Rosa in sixth place. Paris is currently in seventh place with Bertie in eighth place. They're all pretty close. Young ninth in the Minardi. We've got another driver change. This is Takuma Sato in the other Minardi. And here is the first of the Jordans. It's Jensen Button in the first Jordan. Fisichello in 12th place in the Renault with Mark Webber. Salber in the 13th. He's replaced Nick Heitfeld. Trilly's in the other Jordan. He's left Renault to join the Jordan team. Pedro de Rosa is 15th in the BAR. 16th is currently Kimi Raikkonen in the Salber. Jean Lacey has been roped into Renault, replacing Button. Mika Hakkinen has been ro roped in from retirement to go back into the McLaren, replacing Damon Hill, who is, again, retired. Barrichello is currently in 19th, and David Coulthard is the last point, is the last driver on the grid as we go back on board with the current race leader, Ralph Schumacher, left the liquidated... Williams team to join Arrows who are willing to give him a drive after sacking off Verstappen as Michael Schumacher has a little look down the inside of Ralph Schumacher but nothing doing but he looks down the inside as to go into Vale it's going to be quite an impressive overtake if he goes around the outside of the club but he pulls out this gives Alonso the opportunity but he has to pull out of the pass as well on Michael Schumacher. Michael Schumacher has another look down the inside of the arrows but again nothing doing there and Schumacher both Schumachers keep hold of their positions uh, Schumacher has another look down the inside. Frenson looking as well all the way around Alonso's rear end and they're all and Sardo's behind Frenson. They're all pulling away of a oh and Little bit of argy bargy going on between Panis and Frenson. There, but all of these are pu currently pulling away from Panis in sixth place in the BAR. They, of course, currently have a two second lead over Panis as we are starting lap three. There is Alonso as we go through the Maggots and Beckett's corner of Silverson Circuit. 24 laps we are doing today as we were did last season as it looks like Michael is going to have a little look down the inside of Ralph as to go towards Stowe and Schumacher takes the lead of the British Grand Prix in the Ferrari as a oh, and Sh my, uh, Ralph has an, another little look but couldn't do anything about that there as they go towards the Abbey Chicane. So Michael leads from his brother Ralph now. There is Ralph Schumacher in the arrows. And Alonso third place in the Toyota. He's still got friends and from company. All of all of these lapping within a tenth of each other currently. As Sardo looks to be getting, looked like he's getting slightly dropped, but he's still with these lot. They're all lapping at least a second quicker than Olivier Panis here in sixth place, holding up both the Jaguar boys currently. 
which is not going to please the Jaguar people at the moment. Delarosa and Bertie both stuck behind the BAR. They just saw Pedro Delarosa trying to pass him on either side. With Young in ninth place, Coronina Minardi. With his team, new teammate, Sato in 10th place. We are, we're going to have an easier time trying to pronounce his name instead of trying to pronounce Takagi's name. Fisichello in 11th, currently in the Renault. 12th, and he's pulling away from his former teammate of Jensen Button in the Jordan. Looks like the top 10 is pretty settled with Fisichello trying to keep up with the 11th place. 12th place currently in the Jordan as Trulli goes down the inside of Button and takes over 12th place. Both of these former teammates at Renault are now both teammates at Renault at Jordan. As these three are having a lone little battle for 12th, 13th and 14th. Weber in 14th here. Dropped by the Minardi team in favour of Takagi last season. He's managed to find a drive with the Sauber team. And he's proving his worth currently with Diniz 15th and Raikkonen in 16th place. As they go round the slow part of the Silverstone circuit. As Raikkonen goes down the inside of Diniz. Is Barricado... Contrasting fortunes for the both Ferraris as we go on board with Mika Hakkinen as the fortunes of McLaren have suddenly overturned. And there is Jean Alesi in 19th, lagging behind his first start for a couple of seasons for Jean Alesi as Michael Schumacher keeps hold of the lead. Ralph Schumacher still second place with Alonso as Ralph has a little look. Alonso's having another little look as well. But all of these are currently 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. All quite close to each other. Napping within similar lap times. These are lovely camera shots here. Ralph Schumacher, 2nd place in the Arrows. Another stark contrast of events for the Arrows team. Who are languishing rather at the back. Lost to this last season. They're all now... Where they were in the season two of the inaugural seasons before the official season started. But now going around Luffield for the fifth time. We're expecting the two stoppers in between around lap seven to lap nine. So we are heading towards that pit window as Frenson... Has a little look down that inside of that Toyota of Alonso. But Alonso keeps hold of his third place currently. These are all, the, all these now three seconds ahead of the BAR still. Of Panis who's still lapping slowly. And still holding up them Jaguars. As Ralph Schumacher looks to be looking down the inside of Michael Schumacher. We're going to have a change of lead here. No we're not. Michael Schumacher keeps hold of the lead. But for how long? Ralph Schumacher has another little look as they go towards the club section. But he keeps hold of the lead as Michael. He's being hassled. Really is Michael Schumacher. Compared to his brother Ralph. As they go through Abbey. Now we're coming up to the section where there's not much overtaking. It's bridge. And down towards Priory, towards Brooklyn. It's a very slow corner of Brooklyn. It's the slowest corner of the circuit to go towards Luffield. Another pretty slow corner. And away they go towards the pitch straight for the sixth time. So we're starting lap seven, lappings at around the one minute 30 mark, all these drivers very close racing as Alonso has a better run and Sarno claims fourth place with the looks of it he's managed to climb up to fourth place ahead of height Harold Frenson but Frenson is and Alonso's had a very poor exit and has been passed by both Sarno and Frenson 
It's a very poor exit from the chicanes and on towards the hangar straight. And Bertie has passed as well. Panis. Bertie is up into sixth place and crashing all these drivers. And De La Rosa has a look down the inside of Panis. Is he going to make the move stick? It'd be a fantastic overtake if it does. What a move by Pedro De La Rosa. Round the outside of the BAR of Olivier Panis. Around Stowe. What an overtake that was. Is to go towards Bridge Corner. There's is the two Minardis of Young and Sato. Both holding their ground. Fizzy Keller's behind them. Currently in the Renault. But and they're being they're all quite the distance away from Weber. And there is the Jordan of Button. Who's pulling away from Trulli currently. But the top five are all still very close. They're all lapping within a few tenths of each other. We're on board with Dinners on the Toyota and Barry Kello in the Ferrari. There's Mika Hakkinen. But he's currently 11 seconds behind. With Coulthard also another two seconds with a Lacey also quite the ways behind in last trundle along in last place in that Renault as we're on board with I presume this is Michael Schumacher with both of the arrows behind him so Ralph Schumacher's lost time somewhere and is now behind Frenson. Frenson's has managed to get up to second place from out of nowhere he's managed to pass both Salo and Ralph Schumacher and now Frentz is having a lot to go at Schumacher. But Schumacher is not letting him pass. As they go towards the final few corners. We imagine quite a few of these people are going to be pitting. There is Schumacher and Ray is on board with Ralph in the arrows. Salo in fourth place in the Toyota. There's Alonso in fifth place. So who out of these lot are going to be pitting? The answer is... It is Michael Schumacher, Ralph Schumacher and Fernando Alonso all pitting from 1st, 3rd and 5th respectively. Now all of these teams need very good stops to keep hold of their positions. And especially because both Frenson and the other person, uh, Salo, are both still out in circuit as Ralph Schumacher leaves the pits. Ahead of his brother Michael, with Salo behind all the rest, the Alonso, sorry, behind all the rest of them, and that was Din. That's the Dennis Raikkonen battle that they managed to get themselves in front of. So they've got quite a bit of clear air. There is Ralph Schumacher in the arrows in seventh place currently. He's got two seconds of clear air before he catches the Renault of Trulli in the Jordan but who is going to be in the lead is it going to be one of the arrows is it going to be the Toyota of Salo how well is this undercut going to work for these lots as we're on board with Young being and Bertie hassled by the Bernardi we saw the leaders just in frame Salo in second place currently in a Toyota Frenson is diving into the pits. He only had one more lap of fuel than Ralph Schumacher. So it was a very good qualifying from Frenson. To qualify in front of his teammates. Maybe the experience of Frenson helping him. As they goes into the pit garage of the Arrows. Change of the four tyres. There's Young going into the pits. And Frenson is leaving the pits now it's a very slow stop though from friends and 9.6 the Jaguar is visibly closer and that was Ralph Schumacher leaving the and it's an arrows one two currently and friends has managed to stay in front of the Ferrari and the Toyota and it's a arrows one two but they're currently in third and fourth place because Salo hasn't pitted and there's another person that hasn't pitted yet. I believe it might be the Sauber of Weber that hasn't pitted yet. 
But there is Alonso in sixth place in the Toyota. He has made one stop, obviously, because he was in the front pack. Bertie's managed to is visibly closer to these lot now. Seventh place in the Jaguar. But where has Pedro de la Rosa got? He's behind. And he's done another fantastic overtake. That's the second car. He's overtaking a round club. What a fantastic move from the Spaniard. And that's why he is the defending champion. Because he could do moves like that. You need to have big bravery to do a move like that around club. It's a very quick corner as they go towards Abbey. And there goes Mika Salo. Weber is away. Is Ralph Schumacher going to be ahead of Salo? It's a race between him and Ralph Schumacher. Ralph Schumacher is ahead. But Salo is ahead of Frenson. So... He has managed to split the arrows and the overcut has certainly paid off between Ralph Schumacher and... No, Ralph Schumacher didn't do it. He did an overcut, Ralph Schumacher did. But Mark Webber in the Sauber... I thought I wouldn't be saying that this, this time last season, um, last season when we went round Bush Grand Prix. Mark Webber in the Sauber is leading... The British Grand Prix. Unbelievable at the moment. But we're on board with... This is... That was Button. Jordan and the Jordan of Trilly. 15th. He's back in the Jordan after being in the Jordan in... I think it was 99. Barrichello dive bombing down the inside of Dinners. And he's managed to make the move stick. Pretty impressive stuff there by Barrichello and Vale. And there is Coulthard in 18th and Hacken in 19th. They're well ahead of a lazy, but Coulthard is well ahead of... Not a lazy, Coulthard's uh, well ahead of Hackenden currently. As we go on board with Mark Webber currently leading in the Sauber. But he's got Ralph Schumacher for company. As they go, as he goes through the Maggots Beckett's Chapel complex, Ralph Schumacher coming in second place in the Arrows. Yet to get off the mark with the win. As Sotolo in third place in the Toyota, he's currently one second back from Schumacher, Ralph Schumacher in the lead, but Frenson is currently two and a bit seconds behind Sarlo. And I presume being heckled by the other Toyota. In fact, he's got a huge train behind him. It includes Alonso. It includes Michael Schumacher, who's dropped from the lead down to six. The Minardi's in there. There's a both Jaguars in there. Bertie and De La Rosa, I presume. And there might be another car there as well. as Alonso. No, Alonso didn't have another look. And there is Weber now with Sh Ralph Schumacher for company. As that goes Weber into the pits. For, I presume, his one and only stop. And Silo having a little duck down the inside of Ralph Schumacher. I don't know if anything came up of that. But there is Mark Weber stopping at the marks. The, the gaps between first and... 10th place is 7 seconds. Fisichella is quite a distance behind now. But Weber coming out of the pits. He's going to come out ahead of Button, is he? Oh no, he's just behind the Jordan of Button. As they go round Maggots and Beckett. So Mark Weber is currently... Comes but came back in 14th place, but he has not got to make another stop. But with the gaps very close between the front runners, I don't know if he's going to score any points. As there is Raikkonen in 11th place, 10th place in the Minardi. I, it's Sato in the Minardi, 9th place is currently Panis in the BAR, and he is going around. Priory now. 
We've got Dedarosa, Young, Bertie all in front. Fenton looks to be putting a little bit of a gap now as he tries to race away from these lots as the BAR of Panis goes into the pits. He is, turns out, the BAR is free stopping this race. Where most of the cars are two and one stopping. Now this could be a genius move, but does mean now he has to bring up a huge gap to try and catch up with these lot. And away he goes, 9.4 seconds stop. He's going to have a little bit of clear air, or is he? Is Barrichello going to be in front of Panis? Yeah. So Panis has to now overtake Barrichello to get the clear air that he needs to catch up with the leaders as there goes Ralph Schumacher going through the chicane. Salah's currently in second, Alonso in third place in the other Toyota. Trying to catch up with these lot. It's Fenton still in fifth place. Fourth place, sorry. And shoot Michael Schumacher still in fifth place. So the top five is still the top five that we had before the, fir the first round of pit stops. But it's been re re jiggled and M Ralph Schumacher ends up being in the lead again. And Alonso finds himself in third after being quite the distance away. But he did have Frenson for company but it looks like Frenson had not the best exit as they went round cops but he's certainly a lot quicker at Maggots and Beckett but he couldn't do anything and he's now in the slipstream sort of of Alonso is he going to send one down the inside of Stowe he tried it looked like Sardo also tried going down the in he's gone down the inside of Vale, but Ralph Schumacher keeps hold of it. Whilst the other Arrows is trying to pass the other Toyota. Frenson on Alonso, fourth and third place. Michael Schumacher looking, waiting for one of them to make a mistake as they go around Abbey. Again, Frenson. Unable to overtake Alonso to go go around bridge, not an overtaking spot. And we saw from last season that, that it was dangerous to pass around Priory. And this Luff and Brooklyn and Wood, uh, Luffield is pretty single file. Unless Frenson can stick a nose inside of. Uh, oh! That was rather close. That was Alonso turning into the pits and nearly taking the back of Frenson out. But the race leader of Ralph Schumacher comes into the pits as well. It's a change of all four tyres. The fuel licks off. And away he goes. It's a seven second pit stop. It's a very quick pit stop from the Arrows. And away goes Ralph Schumacher. He's going to have clear air. Quite a bit of it. He's managed to find a gap between De La Rosa and Fisichella and he can just try and pull a gap now as that was De La Rosa going in down the inside of Young so that puts Frenson no Salo's in the lead Frenson is now in second place he's about to catch the back of Jean Lacy in the Renault Schumacher is currently in third place in the Ferrari there is Salo, he's already passed a lazy. And Frenson is going to catch the back of a lazy. He's gone past him down the inside of Bridge. Schumacher has caught him at a bad time. He's caught him around the back of Brooklyn. This is letting Frenson pull away from the Ferrari. It's it let Bertie go down the inside of both Bertie and a lazy. There's De La Rosa, he's gone in through, but he's gone into the pits. Whereas Michael Schumacher. But that's not, def certainly not going to help Schumacher's cause for if he wanted to win this race. And into the pits the Ferrari goes. 
This has to be a very quick stop. To, he's not going to get in front of Ralph Schumacher. Ralph Schumacher's already passed him. It might even be stuck behind Giancarlo Fisichella. But it looks like he's going to be in front of Fisichella. There's a four-second gap now between the two brothers of Michael and Ralph. There's Fernando Alonso. He's not managed to get in front of Fisichella. So Alonso was stuck behind Fisichella's Renault. So Schumacher's managed to jump Alonso. There is Alonso in ninth place. Now we've got Salo currently leading. He's leading by three seconds. Is this overcut going to make wonders for the Toyota? We have Frenson currently in second place. He's currently a second ahead of the Jaguar. Both of these, both the Arrows and the Toyota pitting on this lap. Bertie is not. De La Rosa is pitting this lap. So is Young behind, I presume. There goes Frenson. There goes De La Rosa. Yes, Young pits as well. Pit limiter now 100 miles an hour. Or is it 100 kilometers an hour? I never really took uh, notice if it was kilometers or miles. I think it was kilometers. And there goes Young. There goes Salo. He's is he going to keep the lead? Is, is he going to get take the lead? Is Salo? Frenton still in front of the Jaguar. He's actually pulled away from the Jaguar, and that is Alonso in behind Mark Schumacher. But De La Rosa is ahead of all these lot. So this is seventh, sixth, fifth De La Rosa, fourth place for Frenton. It, that might mean that Frenson is in a net third place unless Bertie can make wonders with his uh, super overcut. But who is currently leading? We don't know who's currently leading because the camera hasn't gone in front of him. There is the Jaguar. Frenson, two seconds ahead, is going to take quite a miracle. And it is, it is Salo that's currently leading. Salo managed to jump Schumacher in them round of stops. So the overcut worked wonders for the Toyota. There is Salo, currently in second place, but Bertie is yet to pit. There goes Bertie now into the pits, along with me, the back marker of Mika Hakkinen. So, what is going to happen here? Is Bertie going to spoil the Arrows party? Is he going to spoil the Toyota's party? Or is he going to be behind all these lots away he goes a lazy's just gone past so Salo goes ahead there goes Ralph Schumacher and you know what I think he's going to be ahead of friends yeah Bertie comes back out in third place well ahead of Frenson so it's a Toyota one arrows two Jaguar three Salo there he is currently leading this race but friend but we've seen how well Ralph Schumacher can pass is he going to send one down he has and Ralph Schumacher retakes the lead of the British Grand Prix in the arrows but he now has Jean Alesi to repass now where is he going to hit a lazy is he going to hit him around the outside of club yes it's a good overtake there. Now, where's Sala? Is Sala going to easily overtake him? Yes. So, both the leaders easily overtake the Renault. Now, when's Bertie going to catch up to the Renault? And we have a bit of quietness now. As Ralph Schumacher slowly pulls away. There is Bertie in third place. Frenson still in fourth. Frenson has a bit of a gap now. He has a healthy gap. There is Frenson. Passing Hakkinen, who now has the Ferrari, and there's Bertie. He's managed to easily get in front of Jean Lacy. In fact, Jean Lacy has pitted, so there's no longer a back marker. Hakkinen easily lets the Ferrari through. De La Rosa's sixth place in the Jaguar. There is seventh placed Alonso. He was leading at some point, Alonso was, but now he's down into 7th place. 8th place was, is Alex Young in a Minardi. 
He's having quite a quiet race. Weber has managed to find himself in ninth place. So it's a sterling effort by the Sauber team to manage to get him into ninth place. That one stop playing dividends for him. As Alonso goes down the inside of De La Rosa, he takes sixth place from the reigning world champion. But he's going to have a lot of competition as Michael tries down the inside of I don't know who. Probably Frenson. As we're on board with Weber. He has his teammate for company in 10th place. So both the Saubers that find themselves in 9th and 10th place. And we have Fizikella in 11th. No we don't. We have Barrichello now in 11th place. He's managed to overtake Fizikella. It's a sterling effort by Barrichello to try and come back up the places for the Ferrari but I think his charge is going to end there in 11th place there's Fisichello in 12th Button is in 13th Takuma Sato has had a horrid time he's now found himself down in 14th place he was fighting for the points so I have no idea what's happened to Sato maybe traffic has not been kind to him Panis in 15th place. The free stopper just not working for the BAR. He's found himself outside of the points as well. Truly in 16th place in Jordan. He was just nowhere near the points anyway. With 17th place being Diniz in the BAR. Coulthard in 18th with Hacken in 19th. He's well away from Coulthard. And Alesi is also well away from Hackenden and well away from Coulthard. He's lapping in the 1 minute 54s. As Salo retakes the lead from Ralph Schumacher. Both of these are trading leadership blows. So who is going to end up in the lead? Bertie stays in third place. But he's not, he's not going to be challenging the leaders anytime soon. Four seconds. The gap between the top two. And Bertie in third place in the Jaguar. Now who is Ralph Schumacher going to have a little go down the inside of Salo? He has a little look. But he, wasn't ma he couldn't manage to go down the inside of Luffield. As there's a three tenth gap between Salo and Ralph Schumacher. Ralph Schumacher had a very good cops corner though is he going to be quick that was a, that's a Ferrari down the back of the Jaguar so it looks like Michael's managed to find himself in fourth place managed to get himself ahead of the arrows but it looks like the arrows as well was there they are that's the Toyota as well of Alonso in sixth place he's managed to get down as Rav Schumacher couldn't there and there's Bertie defending for his life for third place Schumacher hassling him in the Ferrari and there goes Michael is he going no oh is he going around the outside of club is he going to do what Pedro's done yes he is Michael takes hold of third place in the Ferrari it's Four different constructors in the top four currently. With Salo leading Ralph Schumacher, then Michael, then Bertie. As to go through Brooklyn's for the 22nd time. We've got two laps to go after this. A lot of things can change. We could have change for the lead, a change for third place. It's quite a lot of cars battling for third place. We've got fifth place currently for Frenton. Currently in the standings, Ralph Schumacher Ralph Schumacher's leading. He's managed to overtake Salo at some point around that lap. Michael's in third place. Bertie fourth. Fifth Renson, sixth Alonso, seventh De La Rosa, and eighth Young. All separated by 11 seconds. It's very tight between these lot. Bertie had to take a, an alternative line. Is he going to go around down the inside of Schumacher? No. But is he going to get a good exit off of Chapel? To manage to go down the inside of Stowe. Alonso's got a good exit compared to Frenson. But he's not going to send one down the inside. And neither is Bertie. So it's the third place still for Michael Schumacher. As we have two laps to go. Bertie. Is he going to do what Schumacher did to him just the previous lap? He looked like it. But 
he wasn't managed to get the overdrive over Schumacher and there goes Bert. he had he had another look there is Michael Sardo still in second place it's still Raf Schumacher in the lead as and there is Sardo wrestling the car around Brooklands into Luffield and we are coming on to the final lap it's a straight up shootout between Ralph Schumacher and Mika Salo for the win as they go towards Cops Corner is Salo going to have a good exit he didn't he got he was certainly quick around Cops but he didn't get a good enough exit and now Round Maggots and Beckett, Salo is physically closer to Ralph Schumacher who's going to get a better exit as they go out of Chapel. They're both pretty even. Salo going into the slipstream of Ralph Schumacher. Is Ralph Schumacher going to hold his line as they go towards Stowe? Salo sends one down the inside. Salo takes the lead of the British Grand Prix around Stowe. But there is still plenty of overtaking opportunities for the arrows of Ralph Schumacher. Michael Schumacher holds on to third as they go around Stowe. As they go around Club, Salo physically pulls away. But there's a back marker of David Crawford. Can he get involved in this fight for the win? As they go down towards Bridge. Salo looks to be catching up to Coulthard. And he catches Coulthard at a terrible place. He's going to catch him at a very terrible place. This going around Brooklands. Is Ralph Schumacher going to turn one down the inside of Salo? No, he isn't. Coulthard's going to get in the way. No, he isn't. There goes Ralph Schumacher, but Mika Salo is going to do enough. And Mika Salo is going to win the British Grand Prix for Toyota. Ralph Schumacher ends up in second place in the Arrows. And Schumacher, Michael Schumacher ends up in third place with Frentzen in fourth. Managed to overtake the Jaguar. In fifth place was Alonso in the Toyota. Well away for them was Pedro de Rosa in seventh with Young in eighth place. What a finish that was. We thought I thought that Coulthard was going to get in the way of the leaders, but he managed to put away at the right time. Both the Sabres come home in ninth and tenth places. Weber, ninth. Riker in 10th place. Barrichello tried catching up to the Salbers, but it was just too little too late. Seven seconds behind was the Ferrari. Sato, Fisichella, Button all finishing 12th, 13th and 14th place. Panis, 15th for the BAR. Very is a terrible day for the BARs. And I'm going to need to catch my breath after that race. That was quite the race. And Mika Salo finishes in first to win for Toyota it's the first Toyota victory for quite a while hopefully that means a change of guard between the Jaguar and Toyota Arrows look to be back to their usual selves after a fan after a torrid season two and Ralph Schumacher has disappeared there he is I don't actually know where Rafshe Mecca went. And we are going into the classified results. Mika Salo wins the British Grand Prix. Four tenths was the gap to Ma Ralph Schumacher in the Arrows. Michael Schumacher joins his brother on the podium. 6.3 seconds behind Salo was Schumacher. Frenton in fourth place in the Arrows. Seven seconds was the gap. Fifth place, Bertie. Four tenths behind Arrow, uh, the Arrows. Sixth place, Alonso, also within that seven second gap. He was 1.4 seconds away from the Ferrari of Michael Schumacher. And sixth place, seventh place, sorry, was Pedro de Rosa in the Jaguar. I can't see the rest of the standings. Eighth place, Alex Young in the Minardi. As you can see, Mika Salo didn't lead again to the final lap. And then the final lap is what counts. Ralph Schumacher held the lead for quite a while. And Michael Schumacher as well was leading at some point. So you could say that he deserved the third place. Frentzen 
was forever in the top five. Bertie managed to get into fifth place after overcutting quite a lot. Alonso, it was he was hit and miss. Pedro de Rosa was nowhere really. He wasn't nowhere near the closer to getting there. Young forever in the top ten, very consistent. Weber with a sterling drive. He was led at some point as well, did Mark Weber. And the other Sauber of Kimi Raikkonen had a different fortune to Weber, but he still managed to get points. Outside the points, Rubens Barrichello, sterling drive from 19th to get into the 11th place, but it was just too little, too late. Sato, don't know what happened to him. He's just disappeared off the radar and finished in 12th place. Fisichello was forever tumbling. There is the first of the Jordans, 16th. Uh, 14th place sorry Panis 15th free stopping and he just was nowhere after the second stop Trilly in 16th place with Diniz 17th in the other BAR 18th and 19th to two McLarens a very torrid time for the McLaren team there's Mika Hakkinen in, in his return but McLaren have not brought out a good car at the moment they will need to improve themselves a lot. And Jean Lacey also needs to improve himself as well as we have a replay of the start here. We are on board with Barrichello. In fact, Barrichello was quite high up, wasn't he? So I didn't realise he qualified quite high. So what actually happened to Barrichello at the start? In towards Cups. Now remember, Frenson went wide... Is Barrichello going to drop it? Or is he going to be spun by Bertie? I, I, I'm speculating here. because Oh, no, he just dropped it. He dropped it going into Beckett. That's what happened to Barrichello. And that was the race. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.